Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Ranjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the compiler design. We have already completed about the theory of computation classes. So from today's class to onwards, we will start about the compiler design subject. Okay. And we also start uh, some data science courses also very soon. Okay. So in today's class, we will specially discuss about the introductions or basics of compiler design. Okay. So what are the basics or introductions of compiler design? See here. First point, before going to the compiler, before going to the compiler, first we'll see about the interpreter and compiler. So what is the difference between the interpreter and compiler? So first we'll discuss about the what is the def means the definition of interpreter? What is the meaning of interpreter? Interpreter means it translates, it translates just one statement. It translates just one statement of the program, one statement of the program at a time into machine code, into machine code. Interpreter means it just translates only one statement of the program at a time. Okay. So what is the definition of compiler? See, it scans, it scans the entire program and translate the whole of it into machine code. Okay. Inter the difference between the interpreter and compiler is Interpreter only translate, interpreter only translates the one statement of the program at a time, but compiler will translate or will scan the entire program at a time into machine code. Okay, now we'll see the definition of interpreter and compiler with the help of one example. See. See. This is one piece of the code. See, this is one piece of the code. This code, now we'll try to understand what is the meaning of interpreter. Interpreter and compiler. Interpreter and compiler. Interpreter means it just translates only one statement of the program at a time. One statement means interpreter, when in case of interpreter, Interpreter just, this is the piece of the, uh, this is one piece of the code or uh, this is one program, okay? So interpreter first scan or translates this first statement of the program, first statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the second statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the third statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the fourth statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the fifth statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the sixth statement of the program into machine code. So this program contains total six number of, means six number of statements. The total, the program contains the six number of statements. Okay, so interpreter will convert the first statement, the first statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the second statement of the program into machine code. Then it will convert the third statement of the program into machine code like this. This is the definition of interpreter. Interpreter means it will just convert, it will just convert only one statement of the program at a time into machine code. But in case of compiler, the compiler will, will convert or the entire, the entire statement or the entire program at a time into machine code. Compiler will convert the entire code, the entire code into machine code. Into machine code. Okay. So mainly this is the basic difference between the interpreter and compiler, okay? So now we'll discuss one more definition of compiler design. C. 
see what is the meaning of compiler compiler is a program compiler is a program that translates a program written in one language compiler is a program that translates a program written in one language into an equivalent program into an equivalent program in another language in another language and also reports and also reports the error present in the program and also reports the error present in the program see what actually see so compiler is a program that translates the program written in one language so see this program this is one of the program this program written in one language and compiler will convert compiler will convert the entire program entire program into another language into another language and also reports the error present in the program okay see what is the meaning of this compiler this is called as the source program so this program this program is nothing but it is called source program source program so compiler will convert this source program this source program into target program means this one target program target program or it is also called as machine code or we can say like it is called as machine code okay because human can understand source code means it is just like a simple english we can say like okay because it is human understandable language source code source code means human understandable language under standable language so this program is human understandable but computer computer cannot understand this program so that's why compiler will convert the source program compiler will convert the source program into target program or we can say like machine code or machine dependent code this is called as the code means the process of compiler compiler simply convert this source code to machine code the source code to machine code or target program okay that term means how to convert this will be we will discuss in the upcoming classes how compiler will convert the source program into target program we will discuss in the upcoming classes okay <clears throat> then then the next point is also reports the error present in the program and also reports the error present in the program so what type of errors the errors here there are different types of error like lexical errors syntax errors semantic errors we'll also discuss about all the means all about the errors like uh, means lexical errors syntax errors semantic errors in the upcoming classes with the help of examples don't worry about this so so suppose this is a one of the program suppose uh, this program contains any error suppose for example like uh, this program uh, looks like i am writing again int main int main suppose int a comma b print f print f a print f b then this one but this program does not contain any error but this program contains error but this program contains error where there is no semicolon this line in this line there is no semicolon no semi color so if any program if the source program contains any error so compiler will also report this error and this semicolon is which type of error we'll also discuss about this uh, means this error is either uh, this error may be uh, lexical error may be semantic error then may be syntactic error like this but it is just uh, syntax error but this type of error is called as syntax error syntax error how to identify means uh, this error is syntax error or semantic error or lexical error we'll discuss in the upcoming classes uh, don't worry about this okay we'll also discuss about uh, uh, the details about the different types of errors and how 
compiler will convert a source program into target program or uh, or machine code then we will discuss the details about the in the upcoming classes for example means uh, suppose c program for example i'm showing i'm just giving one example suppose c program suppose c program c program the compiler will convert c program the compiler will convert the c program into assembly code this is called assembly assembly code okay suppose java java compiler this is called as the c compiler c compiler will convert the source program or c program into assembly code assembly code means it is called the target program this is this c program or this is called as the source program this is called as the source program this assembly code is called as the target program one more example see one more example suppose java compiler suppose suppose java compiler java compiler will convert the source program or java program source program or java program into byte code into byte code okay so c compiler will convert the source program or c program into assembly code this is one of, of the example of the c compiler or the java compiler both are the examples of the compiler and both uh, c and java compilers are very popular compiler so similarly java compiler will convert the java program or source program into byte code okay so in the next class we will discuss about the different phases of the compiler how compiler will convert the source program to target program in the next class we will discuss about okay thanks for thanks for watching